Welcome back to the Tool Crib. Today we're going to be looking at the Victorinox Swiss Champ. Now the Swiss Champ is a very special multi-tool to me because it is actually the knife that really got me started in the multi-tools back when I was a kid. So when I first laid eyes on this, I was 12 years old and a friend of mine, his dad had a, an order magazine for Gander Mountain and this knife along with many, many others happened to be in there. Well, when I first saw it, it was one of those things that I had to have. And so I mowed lawns all summer long and I really don't remember what I paid for my Swiss Champ back then. But by summer's end, I had accumulated enough money and I was able to purchase it. And once I had it in my hands, at 12 years old, I felt like there was nothing that the world could throw at me that I could not handle with this knife. And so for that reason, it really holds a special place to me. Now, it's not very practical by today's standards. Uh, I do know people that do carry the Swiss Champ. It's not really a pocketable tool. It's really chunky for that. I, they have a belt sheath for it that I think is more practical if you decide to use something like a Swiss Champ, then it would be more practical to carry it in something like that. I don't know a whole lot of people that carry this anymore. I only really know two people and they don't carry it all the time. So not the most common EDC, but there are people out there that really, really like the Swiss Champ, and for good reason, it's a very, it's a very good knife. Well, let's get into the specs, and then we're gonna walk through the 33, count them, 33 different functions that this knife has to offer. The Swiss Champ is in the 91 millimeter frame size, so 91 millimeters in overall length, about 31 millimeters in width, and approximately 25 millimeters thick. Now to put that in SAE measurements, it's gonna be about three and nine sixteenths of an inch long, an inch and a quarter wide, and about an inch thick. And it really, for everything that's in it, it it's really kind of light considering all the functions it has. So it weighs in at 186 grams, or a little over six and a half ounces. Like I said before, not really the most practical EDC, it's something that you probably want to carry in a belt sheath and not in the pocket. Well, let's start going through those 33 different functions. We'll start off with the small knife blade. So we have the smaller blade. Now, I'm not as proficient as a lot of people on Victorinox stuff. There's a lot of people out there that are really, really experts on Victorinox's uh, different knives and what their material is. So the knife material that they use, the stainless that they use, has a lot of chromium in it. And I'm not exactly sure, I should have looked it up and I apologize that I didn't, what their actual steel is. It's a proprietary blend for Victorinox and it has a lot more chromium in it. And that's how you get that high luster is by adding more chromium to your stainless steel mixture makes for a little bit softer steel than what you're going to find in other multi-tools or multi-knives of today but it does hold a decent edge uh, and the the benefit of it is is it's extremely easy to sharpen right back up so it has the small blade here and then right next to that is going to be your main blade now the main blade on this is 59 millimeters or about two and five sixteenths of an inch and it's kind of what people refer to as the pin blade because of its shape. Very, very sharp, these things come from the factory. And you'll notice that the stamping on the tang for the knife indicates that it is a Victorinox knife. Officer Suisse. The next tool over is the file, actually it's, it's several different tools. So they have the metal file and then the cut edge on the saw, like you're gonna find with Victorinox's multi-tools, is very aggressive. And so this is actually a metal saw. So that is uh, pretty good actually. Now on the back side they have the file, the crosscut file, which the Victorinox files are really, really well made. They really do a great job with them. And then on the other side, the, the finer file is actually, they call it the uh, fingernail file. So it's a single cut file. And it, they're all pretty good, they really are. Now the next tool over is gonna be our saw. And saws on the Victorinox knives are, are really, really good. The problem with 
the Victorinox knives and some of these implements is that none of the implements lock out except on certain models. They, they do have versions today that actually do have locking implements. Usually the knife blades every once in a while uh, they have a particular a flat driver that when pressure is added to it it will lock in place to on a couple of their knives. But the saw blade on here is really really nice and it's one of the best made. Vic Victorinox and Leatherman probably make the two best saw blades on multi-tools. Then the next tool over is several different tools. So it's a fish descaler, it's a degorging hook, and it has about a three inch ruler. So it, I actually got a, some use out of this when I was a kid. Now it's not the most practical fish descaler, but I did do quite a bit of fishing when I was a kid, and so that one actually came in pretty handy. Now the next tool over is the scissors and the scissors on Victorinox knives are really really good. They're some of the best scissors made, actually probably the best scissors made in multi-tools. The only one that really can give it any kind of competition is going to be the Leatherman Surge which has an outstanding scissors uh, itself. Now the next tool over is your pliers. Now this is, you know, this is kind of why I, I lean towards uh, plier-based multi-tools as opposed to Victorinox knives, especially not knives of this size. I like Victorinox knives, but I like, uh, you know, their smaller size knives or, you know, less layered knife is, is what I mean to say. The pliers on here, they're, they're okay. They, they're okay for a little light task. You're not going to get anything really super aggressive done with these. And they do claim that it has a, a wire cutter in here. But you can't even get a coat hanger size wire in there. So not incredibly practical. But it is listed as a function. And then with the spring mechanism, it is spring loaded. Next tool over is going to be the magnifying glass. Now, uh, this particular magnifying glass, I think this is five times magnification. And if I'm not mistaken, they used to make it, it used to be seven times magnification. So they've dropped that a little bit. But you can actually, it, it takes a little bit, but you can actually start a fire with this little magnifying glass. I've, I've seen it done and I intend to try it for myself just to see just how difficult it really is. But I have seen it done so with some patience you can definitely you have a little fire starter there. Now the next tool, well, if we can get it to come out, is your Phillips driver. Now on certain models they put the Phillips driver on the back side where the corkscrew would be. But in this case, the Phillips driver, you can you can do it in two different configurations. You could, it has a 90 degree stop, so you could get some torque on it, and you can do it in fully extended, which I like. And then also, one of the other screwdrivers does that as well. In fact, we'll look at that next. The next one that does that is going to be your combination tool. So this is your flat driver, your large flat driver, your bottle opener, and then this is, I think that's the wire bender, if I'm not mistaken. So it will also orientate in the 90 degree position so that you can apply some torque to it or in the fully open position. Now this one does not have that, that joint where it will push in and keep it from folding up on you. But uh, it has decent spring back or decent uh, retention to hold in place. And then on the other side, one of the tools that Victorinox is most famous for, and that is their can opener with a little two millimeter or two and a half millimeter screwdriver on the end here. And their can openers work pretty good. I actually prefer the Leatherman, kind of the Eagle Claw can opener, but, but this one has been around for a lot of years, and there's a reason why they keep putting it in their knives. Then it has the key ring here. Then on the back side, let's see which side is that. There it is. You have an awl. And the awl, it's decent. It's not as good as some other awls uh, on other multi tools today. And it does have a reaming functionality and sewing eyelet. So that is nice. I mean, the 
it's pretty good actually I, I shouldn't say that it's it's not on par it really is pretty good I wish that it was in line instead of in the 90 degree but you can get quite a bit of of uh, you know it provides you a nice handle to when you're using it as a reaming device so that's one thing to consider the next tool over is your package parcel uh, carrier with a little hook now I can't ever remember using this and, and I've seen videos out there where people have showing you all the different things that that little hook is good for some of them are really stretching it though uh, but it can be useful I can I can see times when it would be definitely be useful and then our next tool over we have another little screwdriver here and then let me pull this one out and then we have uh, another screwdriver or well, actually that one's a little chisel so yeah that's that's the little chisel now that's the orientation of this I don't really like it you know if they were going to put this on here I would prefer that the way it's set that they would put it on this side and maybe move that tool over here that way you could get down low and actually do a little bit more work with it then the next tool over is the corkscrew which Victorinox is also pretty famous for in their knives and then it also comes with the eyeglass driver so a little little flat driver there and then in the handle the Swiss Champ actually has a few things, a few things that I really like, and it's a lot of reason why some people would just specifically carry a Victorinox knife. The first is the little pin here. I really, really like the fact that they have that little pin in there because I have had so many different occasions, well, if I can get it back in there, so many different occasions where I could have utilized a straight pin and didn't have one available, but in the scales of Victorinox knives and a lot of different models you can add them to them so that's really nice to be able to have on your person and then the next tool is a toothpick and you can get replacements for all of the scale tools as well as well as the screwdriver and then this one actually has a ballpoint pen so you do have a ballpoint pen available now, I've seen people where they'll take it and they'll put it in the hook here and kind of set it down let's see I can make that work so you could set it in the hook there put a little pressure on the back side and then you have a much larger pin or handle for your pin so that's that's unique it's kind of nice having a backup pin on your on your knife and then on the other side you have a pretty good set of tweezers so they'll really help you out in those times of need it's another reason why you know I wish more multi-tools or knives came with tweezers because tweezers are one of those underappreciated things they really come in really handy for more than just pulling out the occasional splinter so that is the Victorinox Swiss Champ now let's talk about the practicality of carrying the Swiss Champ so as I talked about before the Swiss Champ is quite chunky and at an inch and a quarter wide it's pretty it's a pretty wide tool so I have pulled out a few of the tools that I really would not have use for on a normal average you know everyday scenario and I know a lot of people like that little secondary blade that little uh, the, the smaller blade as a backup blade but for me I, I just wouldn't get that much use out of it now it's okay that it's in there because it takes up it's in the same layer as the main knife so if you know if it has it on there on, on other models it doesn't really matter to me I don't do a lot of fishing anymore so the fish descaler and in the hook and the little ruler not really practical for me and the ruler is not really long enough to get anything done uh, you know three and a half inch or three inches and seven millimeters or uh, seven centimeters you're not going to get a lot done with it the pliers to me on a Victorinox uh, in all their knives is really pretty useless there are scenarios where they could come in handy but they're so few and far between the practicality of carrying it is just it's just not feasible to me the last tool that I really wouldn't use that much of course you know when I get older I'm sure that 
because if my eyesight starts going for up close for reading, that could come in very handy if I'm trying to read to fine print on something. So that's kind of hit or miss. Right now, I don't really need something like that. But you know, as I get older, maybe my eyesight starts going, and that would be something that I would like to have on there. So if you eliminate a few of these tools, now you can get down into a smaller layer knife. And this is a seven layer. I actually prefer in the Victorinox about the largest uh, layered knife is about a five. And I really like maybe a three or a four layer. Uh, some of their four layer knives are really, really nice. But the good thing about Victorinox is they have so many different knives out there that you can really find what you're looking for, something that fits your particular needs. And that's the great thing about Victorinox knives is that you don't have to settle on one particular one. There's usually a knife out there that is outfitted pretty much the way you need it to be. I would like to see, you know, the, the Deluxe Tinker is a very good multi-tool or multi-knife. I really like that, that particular knife. For me, in a Victorinox, what I really like to have are the drivers. I do like to have those. Definitely the scissors. Preferably the saw and the file, the two knife blades, and then whatever they're able to fit on the back for these extra tools is okay by me. Definitely would like to have the awl. I don't really use the micro driver or the corkscrew very often, so oftentimes I'll look for tools that have the Phillips driver back here instead. Now the downside of that is, is I actually like to have the Phillips driver where I can open it up and extend it to the end. And so oftentimes it's more practical to get a knife with the corkscrew, which also has the Phillips driver so that it, I can use it in the orientation that I like to use it in. The parcel hook, uh, you know, if it's in there, it's not going to bother me, stuff like that. I definitely like all the scale tools, though. The toothpick, the tweezers, the, the straight pin, and the writing pin. The writing pin I could, could do without, but... It's a nice little backup. I definitely like the tweezers, toothpick, and the straight pin, though, for sure. This is, uh, like I mentioned before, this is the this is the multi knife that really truly got me started into multi tools. And I've actually bought this one for my nephew. He's going to be uh, coming of age here pretty soon, and so I bought this in advance of that. And this is going to be one of his birthday presents, and uh, hopefully he will cherish it as much as I did mine. Now, when it comes down to what I recommend this tool, first of all, let me say this. The 91 millimeter size in Victorinox is one of my favorites. I think it's a great size pocket knife length. So, and, and you know, there's a lot of different models that are in that, in that size. So I do like the length on it. The blade gives you a decent enough blade. And it's definitely what I would consider an A-grade tool. The, the couple of tools, touch gimmicky but on the whole everything on a Victorinox Swiss Army knife really has some great functionality the pliers I could do without they just it's just not getting enough done with them now when I was a kid I thought that was just the bee's knees to have a set of pliers on me but uh, you know yeah you live you learn <laughs> the I, I actually would definitely recommend this. If you're the type of person who wants all that functionality with you, yeah, absolutely. Victorin I, there's probably not a Victorinox knife that I would not recommend. They are just that good. And, you know, they've been doing it for 100 plus years, so obviously they're doing something right. Now, in a perfect world, I actually like some of the Evo grips a little better than uh, the traditional Victorinox knives just because I like the styling of it and sometimes the tool set can um, change up a little bit. So it, like I said, with Victorinox, it's kind of, there's just so many to choose from. So many to choose from that you can always find the one that's right for you. I don't think this is a very practical EDC though and only because of its size. It's really, really chunky and unless you plan on carrying it in a belt sheath, it's not, it's not something that you probably want weighing down your pocket. I think there's better options for a practical EDC, but as I mentioned before, the Swiss Champ carries a special place in my heart, and 
you know, if, if you're the type that, that wants all that functionality, then by all means, absolutely. My name is Ben. You've been watching my review of the Victorinox Swiss Champ. And I'm going to be testing this a little bit. I'm not going to go overboard because this is going to be a present for my nephew. So we're not going to... We're not going to overexert it, but when we start doing a bunch of the testing with multi-tools, I'm definitely going to include the Swiss Champ in, in that. At any rate, my name is Ben. You've been watching my review of the Victorinox Swiss Champ. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one.